Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a while. You may notice my studio looks substantially different from my last video. So today what we are going to be doing is creating a screen print monotype. Now what does that mean? A monotype is a kind of printmaking in which we create a one-of-a-kind artwork. In this instance, we are going to be using a screen. So our screen will be our matrix. This basically just has like a little mesh stretched across it. And then for our media that we're going to be creating the monotype with, I'm going to be using watercolor. You can use any kind of water soluble art material. So it has to be water soluble. That's kind of the main thing here because we are going to activate it with this stuff. It's called transparent base. So basically it's like clear ink and it's acrylic. So water based, that's where we're getting at. So let's get started with the process. Okay. So I have my screen and I have it so that the sort of indented or back part of the screen is facing down. That way the screen itself is off of my table. I have some watercolors here, some water, and I also have a spray bottle. When I first started this uh, technique, I was working on sort of these abstracted landscapes that I then screen printed over the top of and used my mono types as kind of a base. So um, you may notice my watercolors are pretty beat up at this point. Um, mine have a habit of the caps breaking and then they dry out. So I just perform a little bit of open heart surgery on them and then I can use them again. So I think I'm going to stick with this similar landscape sort of style just because I think it's been pretty enjoyable for me. And I'm just going to kind of paint over my screen here. Now, if you want to ensure that you have a really crisp, clean border of your artwork, you could tape off your edges. Yeah, painting on this screen is a little interesting. If you're curious about the watercolors I'm using, um, I'm a huge fan of Daniel Smith watercolors. Uh, here, I'll just let this drip over here and yeah, now you can see it. I know they're not paying me to say this. I just am obsessed. <laughs> so as I'm going in, I'm just kind of adding more colors, plopping some stuff in here for funsies. Uh, you could print with gouache also if you wanted to use a more opaque color. That would always be a great choice for you. Um, I personally really love the transparency and translucency of watercolor. The granulation that's happening in the colors that I'm using right now, I really, really enjoy. And that's those natural pigments. I mean, it's basically just ground up rocks. So they do what they do best. And now that I kind of have everything blocked in, I'm going to use my spray bottle and I'm just going to like gently spritz some water and that's going to create some nice texture. I don't want to overdo it, but I don't want to underdo it. I can let my paint drip a little bit. Woo! Getting wild. Play around with that a little bit. I think that's what's really fun about abstract work is you can just let it happen. It doesn't have to look a certain way. You can just play around with it and let it do its thing. Let the paint be paint, you know? If I wanted to, I could let this dry and then do another layer and kind of keep playing and adding if I wanted to. Um, but I don't know, I think this is pretty interesting. So I think perhaps I'm going to just let it dry. Um, I could leave it laying flat like this. I could set it upright, let it drip, but I'm just going to put a fan on it to kind of speed up my process just a little bit. Okay. Our screen is officially dry. So now we can kind of see it's not shiny anymore. 
Um, we've got paint on both sides. So what we are going to do now is get set up to print. And from here it goes pretty fast. I'm going to start by laying my screen down so that the screen would be touching my paper. I'm going to take my paper and lay it underneath the screen. Uh, you could set up a registration system with your screen if you'd like to by kind of taping off the corners or wherever you need to lay everything out if you want it to be really precise. I'm just going to eyeball it because that is my MO. Uh, just make sure it seems decent. And my paper is large enough that I could cut it down if I wanted to. So my screen is in place. Now comes the fun part. I am going to take my transparent base and I'm just going to scoop out a little bit of it here. It's really stinky. And I'm going to lay kind of a small bead of the transparent base across my screen. And once I have my transparent base, I'm going to take my squeegee. I'm going to kind of get that base ready, kind of laid out across here. And then using firm pressure, I'm going to scrape across my screen, give it a tap to take out the excess uh, base, and we're going to go back. And I think I'm going to go a third time just for a good measure. All right, and now the moment of truth. Ah, lovely. All right, now that we have our print created, we can set it aside to dry, um, and then you can scoop your excess transparent base into a container. I've actually been reusing mine like two or three times just to save it. Uh, you're welcome to do that. I will say after a certain point, it's going to start tinting everything with whatever colors are on it. But if you're using similar colors, it's not that big of a deal. And then you're just going to rinse out your screen with a little bit of water and a sponge and let it dry. And that's all you have to do. So there you have it. Screen print monotypes. Really simple, really fun to play around with. Thanks for watching and keep creating.